Okay, in the last video we uh, did adjustments with the uh, uh, foundations of this uh, building. Uh, we're doing another one now, but this time we're going to work out the girth. Now, with the adjustments, if we just have a little reminder, what we did is we cut off um, this point here to make this one long trench. And obviously this one was identical. So whatever, whatever calculation we had there, we just uh, times it by two because, again, they're both the same. But what we did do is, by doing that, making this one the length to there, when we did this one, we had to make sure we deducted um, the, that par portion of the foundation just to make sure we didn't double up on that uh, measurement. Uh, with girth, the girth, we are going to be finding the centre of this so we can, in effect, just pull out all of this foundation into, into one long line. So. Again, if I, uh, as I like to try and include uh, the symbols and hatchings wherever I can, just so you get familiar with um, uh, what so far we've done, the brickwork and the soil and the concrete, a centre line, which uh, a lot of um, mechanical and engineering people use this on their drawings. We're not so familiar with it in the building industry. But a centre line would be uh, a little bit like Morse code, a dot and a dash. But that is the this is the dimension uh, dimension that we're going to be endeavouring to calculate. And by let's so say by doing that, we will stretch out one long uh, foundation in effect for our calculation. So um, for this, we need to know again uh, the same as the previous one what the full width of the cavity is going to be, or the wall itself. So again if I just uh, this time draw with a ruler, I did it freehand last time, um, but if we just say that the wall is going to be, and what I will do is include another hatching for us, this is going to be on our foundation, and we're going to have brickwork. I know it's a bit premature to be showing blockwork in the foundations, but just so you can see the hatchings, that's the blockwork. And this will be insulation. And what we're going to say is, as nowadays, very, very, very frequently, we will find with current building regs, we're going to have 100mm insulation. 100mm block work, uh, brickwork and 100mm block work. So we can see there that our wall again, a very very familiar size wall, 300 overall. So we can see here that from uh, sorry the base work to the centre is going to be 150. So you can see the centre there to there that is going to be. Uh, 150 millimeters. Okay, but you can again you can see here that we have our overall length and our overall width, and you can see that the center mark is 150 mil in, obviously from the center to the face, and the same that ends. So you can see 150 mil in, 150 mil in, 150 mil plus 150, 300 millimeters. So we need to deduct 300 millimetres off that and also the same on here as well. So we will have minus 300. So again what we're going to do, I'll just write on here, this is the girth method. So our length that we have for our wall, I'm going to keep this at the moment in millimetres just to do this. So we're going to have 12 meters 500 and on this one here we're going to again this is going to be times 2 because it repeats itself and then on this one here we're going to have 4 300 minus again the two 150s 300 so that will give us 4 meters I'll keep it in millimeters just for the moment because we're not going to calculate it just yet add these both together 
and we are going to have before I do that I will double these up so we are going to have obviously this is going to be 8 meters and 12 and a half I know it's going to be 25 but I just want to um, show you this so we're going to have 12.5 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 25 plus 8 plus our 8 equals 33 meters so you can see that is our girth or our center line of our foundation so that is the length so the length equals 33 meters uh, we've yet to determine what our foundation is going to be so I will do that now and I'm going to say that we're going to have a traditional 600 millimeter wide foundation and we're going to have it at 450 millimeters deep so if we just say that the width equals and again into meters this time 600 becomes 0 0.6 and the depth 450 millimeters becomes 0 0.45 so we multiply all those together and we will have a meter cubed uh, uh, answer so our 33 multiplied by 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.45 equals 8 point nine one meters cubed okay and there we go